With your Connection to Agriculture, I'm Joanna Guza. Dr. Gail Carpenter, a professor at Iowa State University, was talking about balancing consistency and flexibility with alternative forages. She was on the PDPW Dairy Signal, and she answers what seems like a simple question, but what is corn silage? If I say, is corn silage a forage or is it a concentrate? In reality, it's probably a little bit of both. So as you all know, when we harvest corn silage, we're going to take that whole plant, chop it up, ferment it. And so we're getting not just the grain portion of that corn plant, but we're also getting the forage portion of that corn plant. So in reality, corn silage is is grain, but it's also forages. Although if you're a nutritionist or you're talking to your nutritionist in your ration balancing software, it's going to consider corn silage to be a forage. So a lot of times when we talk about producers who come and they want to feed high forage diets, a lot of those, a lot of times those diets are truly going to be high corn silage diets. Um, and you're getting, even though it's a forage, right, 70% forage diet or 60% forage diet, the basis of that is going to be corn silage, which also contributes a lot of uh, energy in terms of grain. So most high forage diets use corn silage as the primary forage source. And it's important, I think, when we're talking about the whole ration, um, especially if we're looking at incorporating different kinds of forages or more forages into the ration, We're not just considering the percent forage, right? So a lot of times we talk about I'm feeding, like I said, a 70% forage diet or 60% or whatever it is. A forage to concentrate ratio is kind of an oversimplification. I think it's most important to consider what is the forage NDF of that diet. So you can get away with feeding more forages the lower the NDF of those forages is because you're not going to have some of those challenges like rumen fill or um, digestibility issues. That was insight from Dr. Gail Carpenter. She is a professor at Iowa State University. You can listen to the full Dairy Signal at pdpw.org, or we do have it available on our website. And that's your Connection to Agriculture. I'm Joanna Guza.